up off the rank. Oh, hi, foot fringes. <laughs> um, first cap of the rank. Who's going to be the next British Prime Minister? Is it going to be Boris Johnson or is it going to be Jeremy Hunt? Um, apparently, Boris Johnson seems to be the favourite at the moment, but, you know, Boris has a habit of shooting himself in the foot and he's got a few things. He's got a a few investigations happening into him as well. So, you know, well, just apparently the announcement will be made on July 23rd. So let's have a look at Boris Johnson's chances first. Okay, I'm going to do just a five carter uh, for each one and we'll have a look. So here we go. Boris Johnson. It sounds very Boris. It sounds very Russian, doesn't it? Yes. But anyway, let's have a look. Boris Johnson. Look on the bottom of the deck for Boris. Seven of Pentacles. Step back, reevaluate, reap what you sow. I wonder if that's what the Tory members are doing. Um, having a really good think about everything first. Um, last count, Boris was ahead, but you know, we'll see. So, situation, will he be the Tory Prime Minister? The Nine of Pentacles, he's sitting pretty. This is the sitting pretty card, autonomy, um, uh, stability in where they are. But, you know, we'll see what the rest of the card says. So he appears to be sitting pretty, okay? Uh, what's his challenge? Ooh, anxiety. He's very anxious about something. Nine of Swords. He's really anxious about something. So something's out there in the ether that is causing him a bit of anxiety and he's worried that it could upset his chances um, and have a late surge towards Jeremy Hunt. So something's there. We might ask for a clarifier on that in a little bit. The guidance for him, Prince of Swords, guidance, I think in this in this instance, since he's famous for charging in and opening opening his big yap, is the opposite of that. Do not go charging in and opening your mouth and creating more chaos. Um, sometimes I feel like Boris Johnson should come with a warning sign, you know open at your own risk <laughs> or you know vote at your vote for him at your own risk um what is the focus of the situation the focus of the situation is this is interesting impending heartbreak maybe chances maybe what the rumors that are coming out aren't as for boris as they appear, if, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's very tangled. Um, <laughs> apparently a few readers are having a, a bit of trouble at the moment getting their words out straight, and I'm not immune to it. So, um, yeah, there could be, you know, the focus is heartbreak for him. Um, so let's have a look at the outcome, the possible outcome for Boris Johnson. Princess of Cups news it's generally good news but it's news of some sort but about what considering that you've got impending heartbreak and anxiety and trying to rein him in so he doesn't open his mat i mean it, he could just squeak it in we might do another couple of cards on on these two And maybe the anxiety. So we'll do the, the challenge first. Another card on that. The Queen of Wands. With this cat. This cat is hilarious. It looks like he's going to... He's just waiting. He's just, I'm just waiting for somebody to come along. Then I'm going to pounce out and land on their face. Ha! <laughs> um, I think this could indicate... I don't know how, I know that the Tory, apparently their membership is more men than women, way more men than women, but there are some fiery women in the, in the Tories, I should imagine, and perhaps they're 
their say might, what they want might tip the favour. I think, I think the challenge is he's anxious about how women Tory members might vote. I don't think he's got them all wrapped up. Um, he can be charming in a bumbly way. Uh, a lot of women are charmed by men who bumble through life, but that doesn't necessarily mean they put them in series in, in, in positions of responsibility. Let's have a look at the focus with this heartbreak. What's that about? The King of Wands. That's interesting. Um, the King of Wands is passionate, stable, just... Um, investigative and this can be investigative too so and given that the bottom card is the reap what you sow and, and the assessment card yeah this if this represents someone who's going to bring about heartbreak for, for Boris Johnson I would say it's probably um, Jeremy Hunt because he is the one he's fighting against for the leadership so maybe Jeremy Hunt could and and this news generally it, it represents good news but I don't generally do reverse cards but given the aspect of some of these cards the anxiety the heartbreak King of Wands um, this could be have a reverse meaning and that the news is not necessarily good so let's have a, another card for the outcome five of pentacles out in the cold wow based on this spread at least boris is not looking as steady as you'd like him to look i suppose if you're a boris johnson fan so that is really really interesting um If you get yourself into the position, there's another debate, I think, coming up. And maybe um, this is why that, please don't open yet. Yeah, be careful about what you say. Um, I, I think there's another debate coming up. Uh, and then there will be the final surge of votes and everything. So Boris is not sitting as solid and pretty as he'd like to think he is. Um, so that is really, really interesting. So we'll... Put those cards back in there. Give them a good shuffle. And let's have a look at Jeremy Hunt. of a cut oh, the vision here and one more quick shuffle I cut them up into five different blocks and put them around and give them one more quick shuffle So let's have a look what's on the bottom of the deck for Jeremy Hunt with regard to the leadership. He's got heartbreak. But is this heartbreak for him? Or heartbreak he's going to cause Boris Johnson? That's interesting because Boris Johnson had the heartbreak card in his focus. So it could be that Boris is going to cause heartbreak for Jeremy Hunt. But I just think, um, yeah, given that Boris is clearly a front runner I just get the idea that it's possibly the other way around but we'll wait and see okay so what's the situation with Jeremy Hunt and his leadership aspirations the magician the magician is often was often one seen as pulling off miracles <laughs> so maybe there's a um, 
aspect of, geez, he could pull this one out of the hat. Okay, what's his challenge? Oh, his challenge is being stabbed in the back at the last minute. Voters at the last minute who he was thinking, yes, I've definitely got them suddenly going, oh no, I'll go for, I'll go for Johnson instead. That is a challenge, being stabbed in the back at the last minute and thus ending his leadership aspirations. Guidance for him. This is the victory card. I think this, this says, if, as it's in the guidance position, is don't count your chickens before the hatch. Don't declare victory before it is fully determined. Because he could be, at the very last minute, stabbed in the back. So, yeah, don't get too cocky. What's the focus of the reading is the Seven of Pentacles. Again, Seven of Pentacles came up on the base of the deck for Boris as people re-evaluating, reassessing. And if they're doing that for Boris, they're probably doing that for, for Jeremy Hunt as well. So people are re-evaluating. I think they were thinking, yeah, I'm definitely going to go with Boris, but then they're stepping back and having a think, um, especially as some of the things Boris has said has recently come back to bite him in the butt and maybe reassessing their vote. So the focus of all this is people are reassessing the way they were going to vote. They may have indicated they were going to go to Boris, but they are reassessing that at the moment what's the outcome for jeremy hunt four of swords this is the rest and retreat card so <laughs> you know i think boris got the out in the cold and the not necessarily good news but it could have been that he's He's got to kick Jeremy Hunt out in the cold. But this could be, okay, taking a seat back, sitting back, having a rest, not necessarily retreating, but sitting down and catching his breath after it. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of clarifiers on the same three cards. So we'll do the challenge first, the clarify for the challenge. Ten of Cups. I often use this as um, the all is not as it seems card. This happy family, this happy, oh yes, we're so happy to vote for you, Jeremy. It's not as it seems. It's a bit of a facade. So yeah, that is going to be a challenge for him, that people say, yes, we'll vote for you, but they don't. Um, I think Boris has sort of got the same thing. Um, and I think it's also groups, groups, small groups of Tories who are talking to each other about whether they think they're making the right decision as well. But the happy family is a facade card. That's, that's often what that comes up for, for me in politics. Um, oh, people say it like in America is the GOP and all that. I've always seen it as, yes, it can represent them, but it's a, they're a facade of what they used to be, if you know. And so that is the happy Tory family as a facade. Let's have a look at the focus, the Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> Circles of support. Um, in this instance, often it can be seen as overindulgence, it's a drinking problem, but in this instance, it's circles of support. People are, re yes, people are definitely reassessing where they're going to put their support, whether it's for Jeremy or or for Boris, that, that is definitely undergoing a reassessment. Let's get a clarifier on this outcome. Four of Swords, Five of Co Cups lost. Look. I think, I think it's gonna be a really, really close run thing. I think it's going to be a really, really much closer than people anticipate. I think it's going to go down to a few hundred votes or maybe a few tens of votes even. I think Boris 
might just squeak in. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, that's really, really interesting. Um, yeah. So I, I think Boris might just squeak in and, and win the Prime Ministership. I just saw a... I'll do another reading a bit later because there was... I just saw a news heading for an article that said if Boris wins, he's going to call for an early election. And I'll look at that in a day or so. Okay. Um, love you all, Footprinters. Uh, if you like what I do, please click like. Click that like button. And share if you want and let people know about me um and yeah i'm up over 40 subscribers now i'm up to 41 so you know yay me <laughs> and yay you um so yay people who subscribe for me uh thank you very much and i'll see you at the next reading